so that uh, honorable senators can concentrate on the business before the house. Senator Professor Tom Ojend. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me an opportunity to contribute to this, to make a statement, to, to contribute to the statement on flood disaster response in Nairobi County, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, the flood, the flooding in this country this year, I must say, is unprecedented. And unprecedented, Mr. Speaker, because the volumes of water that we have received from the precipitation uh, in most parts of the country, Mr. Speaker, sir, has caused or led to a disaster and to the loss of lives. Uh, it is fresh in our mind, Mr. Speaker, sir, that in Mayamahu, uh, many lives were lost out of a disaster that has never been seen in this country before. Mr. Speaker, in my own county of Kisumu, uh, we have not only lost crop livestock, but also lives because of, uh, Mr. Speaker, for the first time, Mr. Speaker, since 1964, the volume uh, of water in Lake Victoria has moved from uh, less than uh, 2.4 million to now 2.6 million cubic liters uh, per minute or per second in the lake, leading to a backflow that, are, that has affected Kabonyo, Kanagual, Nyakach, and other sub-counties in Kisumu County. Mr. Speaker, sir, the response of the government, Mr. Speaker, sir, must be commended because the government, Mr. Speaker, sir, has uh, ensured that relief is supplied to the sub-counties. Our DCCs, Mr. Speaker, sir, and our county commissioners are out there bringing uh, uh, help to our people, Mr. Speaker, sir. And, and, and we must loud this, Mr. Speaker, sir. My, my colleagues, Mr. Kajuang from Mama Bay County, uh, is also Senator Kajuang. I, as uh, as uh, has Homer Bay County has suffered from the same floods. Migori County has suffered from the floods. And, and we, we, we must commend Mr. Speaker as the President for taking personal effort to visit Madare and to assure the residents of Madare that we must improve the living conditions of the residents, Mr. Speaker, sir, by constructing houses so that people are moved away from the riparian land, Mr. Senator Speaker, Senator Ponandi, honestly, we have enough noise. Mr. Speaker, outside. however, Mr. Speaker, however, we acknowledge that disaster management is a dual function, both of the national government and the county government. And Mr. Speaker, sir, it is time that we have a framework where the national government and the county government deal with disasters in a manner that does not lead to some of the hitches that we have seen in certain places, Mr. Speaker, sir. And I hope, Mr. Speaker, sir, that going forward, we must plan for disasters and stop these floods once and for all. Mr. Speaker, sir, that can only be achieved by ensuring that we dam, we build enough dams in some of these sub -county, in some of these counties, Mr. Speaker, sir. The, 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 the floods in Kisumu, Mr. Speaker, sir, can easily be controlled by completing some of the dam projects, like Soin Dam, so that we do not have uh, flows or back flows because the volumes in the lake are swollen. And I think me, Senator Buru of Sierra is nodding in support of the suggestion that we need to complete the soil down. Yes, me, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, I think the support is that we complete this down, Mr. Speaker, sir, but also, Mr. Speaker, sir, that we ensure that all riparian land is cleared of habitations or habitats that inhibit the free flow of Nairobi River so that we limit some of these deaths that we are seeing here, Mr. Speaker. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Karocha Tabitha.